Lord, what is the truth of it? I can't feel the Lord's presence when praying. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Since they are one God, how can they have different names? There are some things that I really can't figure out. About whether the Lord will change his name or not when he comes again. Let's take a look at Revelation 3.12. The Eastern Lightning is with Sister Wen. As long as we hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus, we can be saved. I agree. So we should reinforce our knowledge of the Bible. One particular word or name is powerless to represent God in His entirety. Sister Wong, how are you? Hello, Sister, Sister Wong. Wong. Sister Come Sal, on in welcome. and take a seat. Hello, sisters. It's written right there in the Bible. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. So the name of the Lord doesn't change. God is eternally unchanging. That refers to God's disposition and his substance, but not God's name. Scripture clearly says, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. To be fully gained by God, we need God's further work of purification and salvation. What? God's name cannot represent all of God. Therefore, during the age of law, Jehovah was the name of God. And in the age of grace, the name of Jesus represented God. During the last days, his name is Almighty God, the Almighty. And he uses his power to guide man, conquer man, and gain man, and in the end, conclude the age. Lord, can you really have returned? 